Well, hello. Um, just to give you a heads up, this week is not going to be a normal week, so I will be out all week this week, and so that's uh, something that wasn't expected, so I just want you to know that uh, not to worry, everything's, uh, I think everything's going to go smoothly out of any week to be gone. This is going to be a good week for it. Um, so I just want to make sure that you guys know what's expected for you each day, so you guys know what to be doing and what to be preparing for. Uh, so first, let's just start by looking at the calendar for the week. So this week, if you look at the calendar, you'll notice that today it says it's a study hall. I really want this to be an opportunity for you guys to make sure you're completely caught up with any of your previous assignments so far with this chapter. Now for Lesson 2-2, the one that we were working on, we're not going to be doing those last few problems. Uh, those problems require a graphing calculator. Um, it would have been a fun activity. They are great application problems. But doing this virtually, um, even if I did like a live meet, anything like that, with having different calculators, not being able to do it in person, it's just I just don't know how to make that work. So we are not going to be doing uh, the rest of Lesson 2-2. Uh, so as far as where we got, uh, what we did last up to through uh, last week, that's all we need to worry about. So make sure that you, if you didn't watch those videos, which it looked like everybody did, because I'm able to look on YouTube and not see necessarily who did, but I was able to see by, based on the number of views, it looked like most everybody watched those videos. But if you didn't watch those videos, make sure that you go back and watch those from last week. So then what we're going to be doing tomorrow is we're going to be starting a brand new lesson. In lesson two, three, we're going to break up into uh, those two days, whether... Um, Tuesday, whether you have, would have me Tuesday, Wednesday, or Tuesday, Thursday. But what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be making the videos for those lessons. So I want to make sure that um, they're broke down as, as easy as possible. Uh, so it's up to you how you want to spend those days. If you want to watch all the videos in one day, you can, and then work on your assignment on a Wednesday or Thursday during that block period. You can do that. If you want to just watch, do it in pieces, which I would actually encourage you to do. Watch the first video, because again, there's going to be three videos. So I would watch the first video. Um, on Tuesday for lesson two, three, I'll call it probably two, three video A, um, and then do, and I'll tell you which assignments, which problems in your assignment relate to that first part of that video. And then on Wednesday or Thursday, depending if you're an odd or even period, I would say watch uh, part B and then do those assignments and then do part, watch the video for part C and then do the rest of the assignment uh, during that block period. That's how I would do it if I were my student. And then on Friday, we're going to be taking a quiz. But before I talk about the quiz, let's go back and talk more about Tuesday and Wednesday or Tuesday and Thursday. So on those days, after you get done watching the video, if you have any questions, I want to make sure that you can get those answered. This is not just you working independently. I want you to be able to have, just like in a regular classroom, after the lesson, if you would have a question, you'd be able to get those questions answered. Um, so I will have a live meet open that is not required for you guys to go to. Uh, but I'll have a live meet open for you guys to join if you want to ask me any questions about the video that you just watched, and I'll be able to answer those. As far as attendance-based assignments, I'm just going to assume that you guys are doing what you're supposed to be doing, um, so I'm not going to have anything that you have to complete or fill out to say that you did something for the day. Um, I'm just expecting that you guys know what to be doing and that you're being responsible in doing it. Um, but like I said, you can always join that meet. It's optional, but you can always join that meet if you have any questions. And that would be for Tuesday and then same with Wednesday or Thursday. You don't have to set up an appointment or anything with me. Um, but now let's talk about Friday. So Friday, we're going to be taking a quiz. And so that is the only day that you'll be in my classroom. I'm going to make sure that, or I've requested that there be a sub in my room on Friday. So you'll have someone there to give you the quiz. The quiz will cover lessons 2-0, 2-1, and 2-2. Two, two. And for lesson 2-2, two, two, uh, so on the whole thing, you will not be able to use a, um, i got to look at what calculator. I think you can use any calculator. I'll double check on that. Um, but you... Um, um, can't use your notes, obviously. And for the one question for Lesson 2-2, I'll just tell you right now, it's one of those questions dealing with the height of an object, and I give you the formula on the quiz. Okay, so you don't have to worry about that. So looking back at Lesson 2.0, you'll want to know how to uh, solve an equation using um, the uh, completing the zero method by factoring and quadratic formula. Remember 2.0 is where we learned about all three of those different methods. So I want to make sure, because there's one question for each of those. And then um, for 2.1, that was all about quadratics and understanding the vertex form and standard form, how to convert between the two. Uh, remember we learned how to do that by completing, that, by completing the square or by using the opposite V over 2A to convert from 
uh, standard form to vertex form. But when it's in vertex form, you also want to make sure you know how to find that axis of symmetry, that, lives, that, that line of symmetry. It's always x equals whatever the b value is for the vertex, whatever the x value is. So if you have a vertex at 4, negative 3, the line of symmetry would be x equals 4. Okay, just that something that basic. So you want to know even that, something as simple as that. And then 2, 2, or, like I said, that's all about the height of an object. We'll, we'll have a story problem like that, an application problem. So that's what's going to be on the quiz on Friday. So um, that's this week in a nutshell. And I'll be returning back to school on Monday of next week. Now, I know that there's some different uh, questions as far as retakes, getting to see your tests. Um, I do, if you want to go over your tests, uh, you can always do that with a, a Google Meet with me during my office hours. So again, my office hours, I'm going to have the same office hours. You can just join me in a in a Meet, and I do have um, your tests. So if you want to go over your test in, in preparation for doing a retake, um, you can do that. I'll also be sending an email um, to you guys that um, about how to do the retake for those that it applies to. So anyways, feel free to email me if you have any questions. Um, good luck this week and I hope it all goes well.